Hello and welcome guys to part 5. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war, on the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasingly intense and prolonged, the war price goes up. No doubt Drebin's rates are linked to that war price. The longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are going to get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with him. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold to Drebin. Any ammo that's inside gets added to your cache. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Drebin has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. So that's M4 custom. So I can sell my weapons to. Hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, you'll have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. The only way across is straight through. Okay, let's forget what I'm saying. So we have to cross this building to get to the other side. So we have to go through here. Actually, actually, if I collect weapons, I can keep the ammo, but I can sell the weapons if I want. So this will give me points so I, I will be able to purchase weapons in a future times and more bullets. So I'm looking forward to buy the, the sniper. Um, Yeah, the sniper. So I'll be buying that as soon as I get enough, enough cash points. I'm trying to get a shot from here, but it's closed off, as you can see. Okay, so there's a battlefield out there. So what did everyone think about PS4? I think it looks beautiful. Well, way better than Xbox One. And you can pay... It contains a pay fee for online, which comes with PlayStation Plus, but I don't mind. Because unlike Xbox One, which you only pay online for, for online play, on PS4, you get a lot more stuff, which I'm really looking forward to. I can't wait for it. I'm counting down for it, boy. Okay, so like this is taking a bit long. I need to get the hell out of there. This building's collapsing. So let me pull myself to the other side.
Who's there? Go, go away! I'm not done yet! Okay, Snake. Hurry to the rendezvous point. Your radar is marked with which way to go. I got myself a drum. So we saw that guy. Now this guy wasn't Snake either. He wasn't in every other game as well. What is wrong with his stomach? We will we will meet him later in the game anyway. So let's just carry on with the mission. I got a wall lot to sneak through. So as I was saying, I got myself a drum, the item that we found. It's just like the cardboard box, but in a way, I'll say it's maybe better. You can like roll through in there without being caught, unless you're seen. It's always the best to blend in to fit your surroundings. More, less chance of getting caught. That was a flying jump there. Okay, so some enemies. So let me hide behind this car over here. Foul play. Hmm. Okay, how stupid can enemies be? Just to let you know, this is hard mode I'm playing on. I know in a way I can't prove it, can I? Unless when I save my game maybe. It shows you down there. Suppressing fire. I'm safe, I'm safe. This place will fall down any, let's say any hour. Just look at this place, burning car, buildings collapse, the road has collapsed, bullets firing everywhere, and you can see me there sneaking through. Now that's what you call a real soldier. Here comes the helicopter, so I needed to, I needed to take that PM soldier, PMC soldier out, just to make sure I get across. Damn it, got up by mistake. I think that soldier told me to help him out, so he would let me go past anyway. But the PMC soldiers won't. Okay, here we are in a Middle East Advent Palace.
even this place is falling upside down. Sold. So a dead body, dead body right here. So there has been some killings in here. So I need to have my guard on just to be careful if some enemies pop out or anything. Dead end. So here I go back down. I was trying to jump, I was trying to, I was trying to jump down there, but you can't. Let's see where this takes me. Maybe back outside. Okay, back outside. Wrong place. Lucky me, that wasn't me being shot down. Okay, so it's best to shoot these. Unless you guys want to get knocked out. Can you fall down? Nope, but you can hang on. Claymore. Someone thinks this is Call of Duty. Bang. Back in the same place. I'm a bit lost. Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! Alright. Here. E easy now. Don't move. You haven't even taken 
the safety of rookie. Careful, I'm no rookie. I'm a ten year vet. How the hell did you ever survive ten years? Don't move. You see, real big boss, huh? Lower your weapon. Slowly now. I wouldn't try anything funny if I were you. You? What happened to your face? Huh. Accelerated aging. They don't know the cause. Oh my god. Meryl. You're my informant in the U.S. military. And... You must be the inspector sent by the U.N. Akiba! Uh, uh, Commander! <laughs> 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 This is Rat Patrol Team Zero One. We're with the CID, one of the bodies investigating PMC activity. First hounds, now rats. Here, you can have this back. It's been four days since Liquid arrived in the area. And since then, this woman's been with him. She doesn't look like a combatant. Probably some kind of advisor. Maybe a scientist. So one unit. Why? Something wrong with that? Here, I'll introduce you to the team. That's Ed, our radio man and sniper. The sleeping giant is Jonathan. <laughs> Don't stand behind him. He hates it when people go around his back. And finally... Johnny. Everybody just calls him Akiba. Commander, I've finished installing the sensors. <sighs> okay, Akiba. Anyway. You're all grown up. Maybe it's because someone taught me well. A certain legendary hero who suddenly disappeared. Uh, 
You quit the unit. Me? <laughs> I never gave up on you. Or on Foxhound. Back then, I just wanted you to accept me. I wanted you to turn around and see who I was. But I've put the past behind. I'm done playing little love games. So, what are you here for? Threat assessment. The PMCs. Really? Because I heard a rumor there's an assassin out there targeting their leader. Well, that's some rumor. I'm only here because the UN wants me to assess the impact and effects of PMCs on their refugee protection efforts. That's all? More than enough for a retired vet like me. I know he's plotting an insurrection. But as long as AT security's system is in place, there's no way he'll succeed. How can you be so sure? They've implemented a system that monitors in real time every single soldier engaged in combat action, whether he's State Army or PMC. Each individual soldier has been fully ID tagged with nano machines injected into their bodies for that purpose. The nano machines keep track of the soldiers and their real time personal data 24 hours a day. They monitor each man's position, movement speed, reserve ammo, firing accuracy, wounds, rations, water intake and supply, sweat secreted, heart rate, blood pressure and sugar levels, oxygen. All the data gathered on body condition, on sensory organ data showing pain and fear, data on every internal response within the body. All of it is collected by an AI at the system's core. This data is monitored at HQ to enable command to make quicker, more precise, more rational decisions. It also enables crisis management for each individual soldier. It's being used by the US military, by state armies and allied countries, by PMCs. Even police agencies are starting to adopt it. Unless they agree to implement the system, PMCs aren't permitted to send troops anywhere. You've got these system nanomachines in you, too? Of course. Our unit plays by the rules, the same as everybody else. It was creepy at first, knowing you're being watched 24-7, but I've gotten used to it. It gives us a lot of advantages in the field, too. We get a clearer picture of what's going on around us, so there's less confusion during missions. And our nanomachines communicate with each other, making teamwork a lot smoother. And that's not all the system does for us. It's also a security guarantee against the PMCs. Security guarantee? That's right. The PMCs are combat groups without states or ideologies. They're not fighting out of nationalism or for a cause. They don't care why the war is being fought. They're just bodies fighting on someone else's behalf. They're mercenaries, a commodity. So it's easy to imagine them betraying their clients by joining the enemy or refusing to fight or committing humanitarian atrocities. To keep these things in check, they ensured that no one can use firearms or military vehicles without the proper system ID. It's true for every piece of equipment out there. So even if the PMCs tried to mount a terrorist attack or coup d'etat, their weapons and equipment would automatically be locked out. They wouldn't be able to move, attack, or engage in combat of any kind. And there's more. All the data on their position, personnel, and combat strength is leaked to us by the nanomachines. Even if they managed to circumvent the system by getting the nanomachines out of each soldier's body, they'd be losing their IDs in the process, so they couldn't use their weapons. And the Patriots are behind this. Nanelule, no. What are you talking about? Never mind. So this system is foolproof, huh? Completely. They call it SOP. Sons of the Patriots. The AI that controls it is a tightly guarded secret, both at Arms Tech Security, where it was developed, and at the Pentagon. There's no way a third party could get control of it. I just met a guy who said he can launder ID guns. The system does have holes. There can't be more than a few hundred of those gun launderers. 
It's just a grassroots movement. It's not like they can affect the entire PMC war machine. Anyway, Liquid would have had to register as a PMC in the system to assemble an army that massive. His PMCs might even exceed the U.S. military in terms of numbers, but as long as they're registered, their soldiers' activities are constantly being monitored. So long as the U.S. responds immediately when Liquid makes his move, we can take them down by force. By force, huh? When Arsok heard about Liquid's plans, they sent us to sniff around the PMCs. Even with this SOP keeping an eye on things, there are always trouble spots to deal with in the field. Disorderly conduct, disobeying orders, contract violations. We act as backup for the system by monitoring the soldiers. PMC inspections are always carried out on the battlefield. That's why we're authorized to carry and use weapons. We've lost five inspection teams in the past few months alone. They were all undercover inside Liquid's PMCs. Then, if you got caught... We'd be exterminated like rats. But we're smarter than that. We've been mingling with the PMCs. And after three months of searching God knows how many battlefields, we finally tracked them down. When we reported that we'd found Liquid, our superiors ordered us to provide the UN investigators with intel. <laughs> but I didn't know it'd be you. Didn't the Colonel tell you he was sending me? Colonel? Don't tell me it's Campbell! Yeah. He put you up to this? You didn't know. Uh, you gotta be kidding! You expect me to work with my uncle? Meryl. This is bullshit. He's not my father. Little violation of the need to know rule. Then why are you still calling him uncle? You're still calling him Colonel. He's your father. As far as I'm concerned, we're still uncle and niece. I will never forgive that womanizing piece of shit. Meryl. He uh remarried. Really? His new wife's about my age. I hear she's even got a kid. It's as if he's given up on making up with his own daughter. Men. Selfish, egotistical pigs. Commander. What is it? There's 20 of them, and they're not from that PMC praying mantis either. It's the frog. It's private troops. Oh, crap. This is not good. Oh. Oh. Uh, were you being followed? No. Akiba! They might have seen the reflection off my scope lens. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. You guys think it was my fault? Oh, 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 no. Oh, it wasn't my fault, I swear. It wasn't my fault. Oh, man. Oh, look, I... What? Dumbass. We're moving out. Meryl, where's Liquid? At a camp up ahead. 
I'll fill you in later, if we're still alive. Follow me. Contact. These guys are with Liquid's private army. Shoot first, think later. We'll use the stairs and get out through the back door on the first floor. <laughs> we'll change the route as necessary. I'm on point. Stay close. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Akiba, breathe deep. Got it. We've got a real live legendary hero with us. Try not to choke. <laughs> Move! Move! We're under attack. Who remembers Meryl? Yep, Meryl. And who is surprised? Okay, so let me buy some stun grenades. Here we go. Okay, this gets a lot of more serious now. Now, if you want to unlock stuff camouflage or bandana. As we all know, it's best to unlock a bandana, you don't want to kill your enemies. So, stone grenades will do. Or any other weapons which will maybe knock them out or put them to sleep. Or any other combat moves, yeah. But do not kill your enemies. So, this part's a bit hard. So, the best thing to do is stone grenades. That's why I bought them. You can also just sit back down and enjoy while your team kills kills them but apparently there's a chance of your team members dying as well apart from Meryl and Akiba I'll say so these ninja looking enemies are jumping around climbing walls look at these guys Hercules more like Bang! Strong grenade right there. Um, somewhere. P90 right there. Don't need it really. Take that. Did I hit myself? Yeah, I think I got myself.
Bang. Knocked out. Where's Meryl? Here she is. How awesome it is while dashing grenades, strong grenades, and not using your weapons. Now that's how, how a real man fights on a battlefield. Almost got Mero on the head there. Akiba. So yeah, he gave me some stun grenades. Thanks. At the end of the day, I am saving their lives. So they should be thankful. Okay, let me go up to this one. Come at me. Is it clear? Nope, not clear. There's more. Okay, it's clear now. Bang! What? Sorry, ma'am. Just playing. Did Akiba just fall? Yes, he did. The guy's always constipated. He's just like me in real life. I understand your pain, son. Okay, I'm gonna knock him out.
I can't do two things at one. I either fire these guys or get a keeper up. Now where's the keeper at? Okay, he's got me on a chokehold. Damn it. Okay, that was close to death. So where's the keeper at? Let me dash some strong grenades. Might help. Damn, I've got a habit of getting us off in every game. I still prefer Metal Solid 3 though. Much better for me. That's what happens when you come close to me. Bam. Bam. KO'd. Yep. Now oh, where's the Kiba? Okay, Mero's in trouble. What's this guy who's just standing there? What, is there more? Okay, there is. Tried getting me there. Nice one, Meryl. That's what you call teamwork. He didn't even apologize for getting knocked out, even though I know it's not his fault. Well, that's good he was asleep, because if, if, well, that's good he was knocked out. This place stinks of a keeper. You know, a keeper is my. I just remembered right now, a keeper is actually my friend's name. Well, I don't really call him a friend anymore. I haven't spoken to him in quite a long time. But I remember having a friend called Akiba. He was from Africa. And this Akiba is white. Well, that's pretty cool. Got some noodles. And here we go. A truck breaking through the wall. These strong runners have been helping me a lot. Best type of grenades in my opinion. From what I use. So I'll just keep dashing these and the next time I'll probably look up. Half of them will be dead. Hopefully, fingers crossed. They are everywhere, They're upstairs, downstairs, jumping around, coming in, going out.
There's only like two or one left. Okay, there he is. Is that a girl? Maybe. Who cares? Boom. Clear. Here we go now. 